Uh, yeah, bang, bang, well. Um, West London, uh, Acton, Chiswick, Greenford, uh, Richmond, Kew, Owls, all around them areas, yeah, uh, West, uh, West London, a little bit out of West London, is our manor. The manor's where I was, a ch I was a kid, and we used to go to all the clubs. It was our clubs, you know, we used to fight all the time. And the biggest fight that I've ever seen in West London was at uh, Acton White Hart years ago, uh, where there was uh, involved with about four or five bouncers. Uh, that was Moy Bush, Moy Bush, six foot eight, six foot nine, 20 stone. Cliff Fields, everybody knows Cliff Fields. Uh, Georgia Clark, Freddie Clark, and a guy called Dave, P Dave Pierce, I think his name was, Dave Pierce, I'm not quite sure, a black cab driver, and Big Del Boy with a big scar down his face. I think about six there. Six bouncers and a white heart, yeah? But they was there, all that lot, for a reason. And they knew that it was going to kick off this night. Um, they had been taking liberties with people, and it was going to get everybody sort of like turned up at uh, the white heart to have a white fight, yeah? But, so the bouncers knew that it was going to kick off, so they got more people. Well, right next door to the White Hart is Acton Police Station. So it's a little bit hard to put, be pulling out weapons and things like that, yeah? The police station is about a couple of yards away. And it's right on, on the same side, yeah? So eventually it kicked off. Um, bouncers were getting hit across here with pint mugs, glasses, bottles, chairs, tables, everything, yeah? And it eventually uh, wound up on the streets. Um, Freddie Clark, he must have had, I don't know, four or five bottles over his head, plus uh, pint mugs. Uh, Georgie Clark, uh, uh, you know Manny Clark, that's his Manny Clark's dad. George Clark's his uncle. Big men fighting, men can really have it, yeah? They all got bottles and glasses across the head. They never ever went down fair play to them. Uh, Big Del, uh, he chased a, a guy called Mickey Everton. Mickey Everton kicked him between the groin and he went down and everybody steamed into Del. Del was a big powerful man, could really ever fight anyway. He jumped up and Cliff Fields was with him. They chased uh, the, the, all of everyone and they got away. Uh, Dave Pierce, I think it's his name, Dave Pierce, the black cab driver, he was involved. There was so many people involved in this Big fight, Moy Bush, Moy Bush, six foot eight, six foot nine, massive, massive, massive man, yeah. Anyway, that's the only big fight that I've ever heard of in West London. The only big fight, and it was a big, big fight, yeah. And don't forget, it was next door to the police station, so you can't pull out guns and big swords and knives and things like that, yeah. So there was a few knives. Obviously, there's a few knives. A few people were stabbed in there. Other people uh, that are not in, uh, that, that are not involved with bouncers, but shouldn't even be at the white art people who've just come over there to have a good time they was getting like plunged up yeah, as well yeah so anyway um i see a video yesterday about a geezer called lou yates uh lou yates is a well-known uh unlicensed fighter uh a good street fighter um looked at running a lot of clubs cuff him up north powerful powerful man uh, fought Shory, Shory beat him, but he's fought quite a few people. I never got to actually fight him, but I actually got to see uh, Lou Yates, uh, you know, and I didn't like Lou Yates when he said when he said that he walked into a bar and Cliff Fields was there and he had said something to Cliff Fields and Cliff Fields turned his back on him. That never happened. Cliff Fields would not turn his back on anybody. If it was put on him, mate, he would, he would have gone outside and had a fight with, with, uh, with Lou Yates. So that never happened. Another life and what Lou Yates has told me. Yeah, that, ne that never happened. It was, that's crazy. That's crazy. Right. And then you come to this um, fight. This Lou Yates was a bouncer. He's saying he was a bouncer at a place called Greenford Hotel. Well, there's only one Greenford Hotel in Greenford, right? One Greenford uh, Place nightclub, that's a Greenford Hotel, Greenford. And it's now a McDonald's, all right? But years ago, it used to be a big club, and you used to walk around the side to it to get into the entrance. Four or five bouncers in there, run it. 
Um, there wasn't really a lot of trouble in there as such, but when it did kick off, it kicked off. And because it was right out of the way uh, from any police station, uh, the nearest place to the police station was Southall, which was a couple of miles away. So it took quite a bit of time to get to there. And it was in the dark, it was very dingy, and around the back of a place to get in. So around a club like that, uh, around where the area was, people like that would have guns. There'd be guns in cars, guns in people going to the club, this, that and the other. So it was a dangerous club, i.e. like that, and big swords. It was very dangerous for that sort of thing, yeah? So on this interview, or whatever it is, uh, uh, book, Louis Yates' book, Wild Thing, I think it's called, he's saying that he run this club. He run this nightclub, uh, the Greenfield Hotel, and uh, he didn't stand no crap, and, 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 and this, that, and the other. There's a few people walked in there, and he made out, he let them know that he was the boss. Um, you got people like, uh, you got a Colton club in Harrow, yeah, just off the Harrow, and that's run by Mickey Green, yeah? yeah everybody knows of Mickey Green. He's run a, a lot, a lot of money, Mickey Green. But he was involved with the train robbers and Bertie Smalls and Brian Turner, Jimmy Rockson, Davey. There's a loads of people involved in that, yeah? But all dangerous people, all carrying guns for armed robberies. That was all dangerous, dangerous people. The most dangerous one out of a lot of them was a guy called Jimmy Wilkinson. Jim Watson didn't care for no one. Dangerous man. He stabbed me in the back before, but a dangerous man, yeah? He's had a few fights down the market with Colin Cracknell. Anyway, he is a dangerous, dangerous man. He will always come back, yeah? So, I don't remember the fight in Greenford Hotel, whether or not I was um, in prison. When I say I don't remember it, I wasn't there to remember it, but I got to hear about a big fight in the Greenford Hotel. And now I've seen it on, on this uh, video, podcast, what video, saying that the guy, Lou Yates, run the Greenford Hotel and he had a big fight with a guy and uh, it bashed him up. He was the governor and, and, he, and he become the number one, Lou Yates. They was petrified him, he ruled it, right? It wouldn't have happened. It would never have happened, right? All us West London lot, from the White Hart and other places, we won that area. We won the, 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 that club. We won all the clubs anywhere around there, bootleggers, no, sorry, uh, the Boathouse, the Castle, Cheeky Pete's, all that. We was the ones that always went there, always run these places. Any fights, we started them, yeah? And we finished them, as kids, as his kids do. So Lou Yates has said that he someone come to the someone come to the, uh, the the door, and said it was Charlie Wilson or something. He walked in. He let Charlie Wilson in with a white fur coat, or whatever. Uh, he said um, that a guy come to the door, six for eight, the biggest guy he has ever seen. But there's only one guy that I know six for eight was a guy called uh, Molly Bush. Moy Bush used to be a bouncer in the White Hart and used to be a bouncer in a boathouse. Big, big man. He used to do a lot of films. He, you know, loads of films. Massive. Do James Bond. Massive guy. Powerful. Good boxer. They used to come down with a guy called uh, Cliff Fields and this guy called Dell with a big scar down his cheek, yeah? They come down to Greenford Hotel to take over the door, right? To take over the door. Lou Yates, he said that he took over the door and these people to come in and he don't want them in the club. They've, he's told them they're not coming in the club. This six or eight guy that he's saying, he knocked him spark out, this ain't never. That's Molly Bush. One, that wouldn't have happened. It would never have happened. Uh, two, um, if he took, if he said that he took control of the Greenfield Hotel, that's a lie. Because you couldn't do that. Because the people that are going in that place, Jimmy Wilkinson, Tommy Green, Jackie Lane, 
Bertie Smalls, Mickey Green. Most of the people that I'm talking about are very dangerous people. Plus, Jimmy Wilkinson was one of the worst, right? And being that Greenford Hotel was where it was, if there was any trouble with bouncers, they'd have to be very, very careful to come out there with any their legs left, yeah? Because they'd plot up and wait for them to shoot them. That is what it was running out of here. So the bouncers knew not to cause too many problems, just to let things flow, no big trouble. That's why there was trouble in there sometimes, and they just let it go until it calmed down. Lou Yates said that it was a big punch up in there. Charlie Wilson was sitting there, and there was all bottles, glasses, tables flying around. But all. I don't know where that was, but if that was in there, that is the way it was. And Bouncer just let it go. Lou Yates said he become the, the bollocks in there, and he become number one, and they were already petrified, and they all they all uh, give him plenty of you know, just loved him. No, just, oh, Lou, Lou, Lou Yates is on the door. Yeah, we've got to do as we're told, it bashes up. Right, first one he's supposed to have bashed up was um, Murray Bush. A lot of people must know Murray Bush. Murray Bush, massive, massive man, six foot eight, big guy, yeah. Works on the film sets. That's the only guy that I can think of when he said six foot eight. It's only got to be Murray Bush. So Dell with a big scar down his face and Cliff Fields with Murray Bush, they'd have all been together because they was going to take over that club. They just went in there to look at it, to take it over. Lou Yates said he was there, he took it over. All them people he bashed up. One, he wouldn't be able to bash Cliff Fields up. Cliff Fields would have killed him. Dell with a scar down his head would have bashed Lou Yates up. Moy Bush, a hundred percent with the best Lou Yates up. And if Lou Yates said he was in charge of that place and he took control and chucked people out of that place, I remember, look, Johnny Anlon, he was one of the people that all was together. Wilkinson, Johnny Anlon, uh, 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 Ernie Wise, every one of them, Bertie Smalls, Wilkinson, oh, that was all together before Bertie's would become a grass. So Lou Yates is saying that all that lot, um, they were petrified. Believe me, mate. Uh, Lou Yates has got it all mistake, a mistake in there. That isn't that club, mate. You've got to think it's another club. Make up another club, mate, because it ain't that club. There's no way in a million years you did what you said you did because you wouldn't have got out of that club. You would not have got out of that club. It's dark. It's dingy, and the nearest police station is two or three miles away, and they'd have shot you. You'd have come out there, they'd have shot your legs, mate, they'd have shot your legs from you. So try and work out which club it was. It definitely was the group at the hotel, mate. Forget about that. Make out, and when you do it, when you find out which one it is, make sure it's a club that we don't know nothing about, mate. You know what I mean? Honestly. Because all these clubs, that I mean... It was a big thing about a thing with um, with Billy Blundell, and you said that Billy Blundell, we went up and Billy Blundell was petrified, made up, made friends because he, you, you, yeah, listen, mate, I don't want to hear it, yeah. Your book's called The Wall Thing, and I believe the, the book's a good book, mate, and they should make a film with it, but you have, there's a few things in there you've made a mistake. It is not, it is not, right, Greenfield Hotel. You did not go in there and take it over because you wouldn't have come out of any legs, believe, right? It's that is one of the places that did you wasn't there, yeah. And if you was, it was a, if you hit my bush on the chin, you'd have broke your hand, it'd have killed you, mate. It'd rip you to pieces, my bush. And not only would my bush would have done you, Cliff Hills would have done you, and so would Dill. And you've got Wilkinson, Tommy Green, all that Jackie Lang, all that lot, uh, uh, only wise. Join the out. You got no chance, mate. Forget about it. Forget about it. Bang bang, whale. It never happens. Nice one.